Hello my fellow humans and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl coming at you with another pick a card reading. Today we are going to go into a topic I don't think I've actually touched on yet, but it was a channeled message. And it is who is secretly passionate about you or desiring you. They're going to be kind of hand in hand here. So we're going to find out who that is. Maybe find a little bit more out why they're desiring or what it is that they're desiring about you. So it's going to be exciting. If you're a returner viewer, thank you so much. If you subscribe, thank you for supporting the channel. And if you're new here, welcome. This is a reminder that we are all here having this human experience and that this is a safe space to come from your most high authentic self okay and remember that as you interact with the channel by liking commenting and subscribing it does allow me an opportunity to connect with you directly and get you out more resonant readings and you can always find the links down below in the description box to support the channel further you can email me for personal reading and i'll get you out further information from there you can also follow me on over to my podcast which is just a fun chill hangout session with yours truly and I'm so excited to announce that memberships are now live. There are three options. You've got Love Drops, Love Blossoms, and Love Bloomers. And if you check out the Join button down below, you will be able to see what each level and their perks, what they offer. Okay? So I'm super excited to bring that to you. <clears throat> Today we are going to draw from the uh, Spiral Oracle cards that I have here absolutely beautiful cards i'm so excited to bring these out but let's go ahead and get into your prayer this is not going to be a long reading it is going to be a quick reading today but i'm actually really excited to do this because this is a channeled message that i received but let's get into your prayer perfect my beloved source this prayers for any and all who come on to this reading and into this space in my channel I ask that you remind us that we are desirable in this moment, that we are worthy and desire worthy of what it is that we desire when it comes to love and physical relationships, that we want that higher vibrational love, that we can manifest that if we believe and know and honor the fact that we are enough in this here now, now here moment. I ask that you bring us into this awareness, that you remind us of that truth and that you open our eyes to how you see us. Let us see ourselves the way that you see us. Let us see our truth the way that you see our truth and let us embody that truth the way that you've been asking us to embody that truth so that we don't have any question of who we are and so that we do not doubt our worth and our value. May this always be so on our journey and may you always hold us in your beautiful loving light as these words are spoken onto this reading and into this space. So shall they be. Amen. Aho. Ase. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let me go ahead and get this out of the way over here. Whoops. I was trying not to drop that on there, but it did come out. That's all right. Let me see if I can. It's the only thing about dusting off the ash is that it leaves residue, but that's all right. It was meant to happen. Whatever. All right, let me get that over there. So I've got these for us here. Let's go ahead and draw a card here. Let me shuffle one time here. Now these I will have to check off camera just to make sure that they are uh, camera safe. There are some very questionable cards in here. And if they aren't, I do apologize. But Source has been pretty good about bringing forth the ones that are okay for these readings. So... All right, source for pile number one, what Oracle card is going to help us better understand who is deeply desiring and secretly desiring pile number one? Okay, for pile number one, source, what Oracle card will help us better understand the reading for pile number one? Who is secretly passionate for pile number one? Thank you. For pile number two, source, what oracle card will help us better understand who is secretly passionate for pile number two? Thank you. It was the wording. <laughs> and for pile number three, source, what oracle card will help us better understand who is secretly passionate for pile number three? Okay. They want this one. Well, I guess there's two there. You actually got three all together. Hold on, they want this one. I keep feeling it. It's like I feel it. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. All right, I got you. All right, we have rising on the bottom. 
So definitely there's a rising of energy here. That's great. That feels really good. All right, let's get that over here. Let me go ahead and put this over here. I keep hearing, that's the one. Okay, I think I was questioning it and they keep telling me that's the one. That's the one we want. Okay, good. All right, let me make sure we're in the camera here. Perfect. For pile number one, we do have this beautiful bloodstone for you to choose from. Okay, for pile number two, we have this beautiful red jasper stone for you to choose from. And for pile number three, we have this beautiful tiger's eye for you to choose from. So pile one, pile two, and pile three, whichever one you feel drawn to, that should be the pile for you. And I will see you over on said pile. Hello, my fellow human. If you were drawn to this beautiful bloodstone, or if you're drawn to this card during the shuffle, then this is going to be a reading on who is secretly deeply passionate about you or who is deeply desiring you. So we'll check that out at the end, keeping in mind these are general readings. So take what resonates and leave what does not. Knowing that as you interact with the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing below, it allows me an opportunity to directly connect with your energy and get you out more resonant readings. Also, if you are interested in supporting the channel further, you'll find all the links necessary below in the description box, or you can email me for a personal reading. I'll get you out more information from there. You can also follow me on over to my podcast, which is just a fun, chill hangout session with yours truly, and I do hope to see you there. And also exciting news, memberships are now live. So if you check out the join button down below, you will see the options available and the perks that are available for each option. There's three down there. You've got Love Drops, Love Blossoms, and Love Bloomers, okay? I'm super excited to bring those to you, and yeah, it's just an exciting time all around. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading and find out who is secretly passionate about pile number one, Source. Who has secret passionate desires for pile number one? Who has secret passionate desires for pile number one, Source? Okay, so we've got ninth house Saturn and Cancerian energy. Okay, this could be someone that has Cancer in the ninth house or Saturn in the ninth house as well as what I'm hearing. Um, let's see. Let me get this set up for us. This is definitely someone who has a lot of philosophical beliefs. They could be a, a philosophy teacher, professor, someone that's studying philosophy or psychology, I just heard as well. This could be someone who's also very extremely religious or who is just a wanderer, like someone who learns all kinds of things. They've been through a lot in their life. With Saturn here, this is the, the tough love, right? This is the planet of tough love, teaches us deep lessons, teaches us pro what it is our problem areas are. And it feels like this is somebody who's definitely been through the ringer and trying to find balances with them, right? This is someone who definitely has a very unique mind, a very creative mind, someone who uses their imagination, who's very, very much sharing of that as well. Like they want to share that knowledge. They want to share that wisdom that they have. They may travel a lot for work or just in general, they like to travel a lot, right? With the Cancerian energy here, this is showing there's someone who's very, very emotional, very in touch with their emotions, very much in this nurturing place, willing to nurture deeply, wants to protect their uh, relationships because they've had a lot of interpersonal relationships that struggled a lot as a child or in their early ages. This is maybe why it is that they've become so philosophical in their life is because they've had a lot of deeply troubling experiences and so they may talk about their relationships or they may not this is like somebody who's going to go either way like they're going to talk about their relationships because that's where they learn their deepest lessons or that's the part of them that they don't talk about because that's the part of them that they just kind of like I learned those lessons let me move away from that so it does feel like it's on either side here they're either going to talk about it or they're not and that's okay this is someone who's very very determined someone who's very hardworking right? They have had a lot of burdens in life. They have had a lot of control issues in their past. 
Like maybe they were controlling or they were with somebody who's very controlling. They could have had a very controlling mother with the Cancerian energy here. This is someone who likes structure. They like discipline. They like to overcome those things that are holding them back. That's something they made their life about, right? This is also someone who could have an issue with their teeth or someone who could have an issue with their bones, like their knees and joints. Like this is someone who struggles with their knees and their joints. It's kind of very specific, but that's what they want to say. So we're just going to like talk about it. That's cool. Let's get these out of the way and see what's coming out in the tarot for you. All right. They just want to use one tarot today. So we're just going to use this one. And this is, and I can't remember the name of it, the illuminated tarot. Okay. Which is this one here. All right, let me give it a couple of shot, a couple of shoe plays. All right, source. Who is secretly, deeply, passionately desiring pile one? Who is deeply, secretly passionate about pile number one, source? Who is deeply, secretly passionate about pile number one? Yeah. Somebody who's had trouble networking in the past. Who is secretly passionate about pile number one source okay yeah they definitely want you like that's 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 a real thing but it's more than just sex like they see you as a great person they see you as a kind person they see that you've overcome a lot of your own battles your own your you've waged war in your life and you've won yeah okay so we have the nine of wands representing the sun. We have the six of clubs representing the house of God. We have the four of spades representing the nameless or the death card, as you might know. And we have the four of hearts here. This is someone who's had to learn emotional stability. Okay. This is someone who's had to learn how to overcome themselves through that emotional stability. Is they grew up in a home that was very much a prison for them. It was so, so much anxiety and so much energy that was flowing around that kept them feeling small or made them feel burdened. We talked about that overcoming burdens, but that energy here is like a deep burden for them. And that source brought in this energy of like, I need you to understand that what it is that you're putting out there, what it is that you're going through is something that you cannot continue to do because it's going to make you feel all sorts of ways. So they had to come into this place of truly determining, am I going to let go of the demons in my past? Am I going to let go of the devils in my life? Am I going to let go of those things that were keeping me small so that I can have alliances that are good for me? Like again, having an issue and networking here, right? very much in this place of hiding from themselves, the eight of cups here in the moon, hiding from themselves, hiding from their truth, right? And it has to do with family. We have that energy of family with the eight of hearts being the eight of cups energy. And then the moon energy coming through. This is like the, the overbearing mother. This is the mother who's emotionally unavailable, dealing with that, not knowing how to give love nor receive love and manifesting a whole life that's based on that having narcissistic women in their life or having narcissistic men in their lives or having sociopathic men and women in their lives or having disconnected and disassociated individuals in their lives, people who are completely emotionally unavailable, who were, com who were ruled by their emotions, though, people who were in this place of learning that if I'm angry, I'm going to take that out on everybody around me. And this is something that Source illuminated in their lives that was causing a lot of restarts in their lives, causing a lot of upsets. And from that, along the way, they met you. And now it's like they've given their heart to you. They may not know you very well. They're also afraid that you're going to reject them. They also, they're, they're very scared that you're going to reject them if they come forward, right? They're very afraid of that. They're afraid that you are going to see them as like, somebody who's not worthy of your love, that they're not worthy of being in the same place as you, and they're scared that you're going to reject them and not see the truth of their soul. But there's something that's happening here that's telling them that if they don't move soon, that they're not ever going to get that chance. 
that you're going to move on or you're going to be given another opportunity. This person could be a Leo, a Scorpio, a Cancer, or an Aquarius. Or that could be what you are. They want to build a friendship with you first. Like, they want to take things slow. This is someone who could come in acting like a friend. But with ulterior motives, right? Like, of course, like, I'm going to build a strong friendship with Pile 1. And then I'm going to I'm gonna take action on what it is that I want. Because they want you to be on board, too. But the only way to know that you're on board is by gauging you up close and personal. Because right now, it's like with them being far away, there's no way for them to see or to understand or know if you're even interested in a relationship, let alone a relationship with them or a connection with them. But they see you as sun and they see you as light in their life as happiness. Like just knowing that you're even in existence, it just makes them feel so blessed that they've gotten to connect with your energy in such a beautiful way. Like, even if they don't really know you that well, it's just like you are the sunlight in their lives. You are, you are the essence that they've always been looking for. And everything else that they've run into has broken them down or torn them apart with purpose, with purpose. But this person is very strong. This person is very deep. This person's very mysterious as well. Their main thing, though, is to nurture. This is someone who you'll find being a very deep empath and very sympathetic towards others' causes. Like, they are very sympathetic. Uh, they carry a lot of empathy for the whole world, right? It's not that they carry that on their shoulders. It's just that they can understand everyone's experiences and where everyone is coming from as well. But with these two cards here, this is showing me that this is someone who's very, very attracted to you. They are very attracted to you. Not just who you are, but they are very physically attracted to you. They think you are the bee's knees. They think you are a gift to life. And they, they, they like to think about things with you. Like, what would it be like to have family vacation with Pile One? What would it be like to go on... A romantic vacation with pile one what would it be like to go out to dinner with pile one or to even have a cup of coffee or wake up in the morning and let's just spend our day watching our favorite shows or whatever it is like they think about all these normal things that couples do like what would that be like with you and equally so what would it be like to have these deep philosophical conversations with you because i feel like that's how they introduce themselves to you like they opened up the floor to talk to you in a much deeper way like this is someone who talked to you in a way that like maybe no one's talked to you before or like you you started that like maybe you started that like you just naturally start with these topics and you were like look like this is what's what's important to me and they're like oh my gosh like this is my person <laughs> like this is everything like you get it you absolutely get it and so what represents this connection is they feel like you're warm. Like we have wombat spirit flying out. Be at home. They feel like you're warm. They feel like you're welcoming. They feel like you are home to them. I saw 1221 on the clock. They feel like you are just the essence of everything that they've ever wanted to create. And they love that about you. And they think that you are someone that wouldn't be frightened by the small things in life where it's like people that they've been with in the past they the small things have arisen and those small things have really broken down connections for them in the past like it could just be something as a small argument over money or whatever that might not seem that might not seem small but it was it was just something that was really stupid or really like lackadaisical I don't know it's just something that was not really worth their time and it just ended up turning into something so much bigger and they're just like, you know, they see you and they see how you just don't sweat the small stuff. And they like that about you a lot. There's something about this person's face, like unique. They could have blue eyes. They could have really dark, dark, dark eyes or green eyes. There's something about this person's face, though, that you noticed right away. They could have a very sharp nose. They could have a very accentuated chin, like a jawline, 
a very firm jawline. Rituals, number 35. This is someone who has some very unique rituals that they don't talk about. Like they do connect with source. They do connect with spirit. We see that with the ninth house here. They do connect with spirit, whatever it is that you call it, the universe, God. This is someone who prays. This is someone who meditates. This is someone who tends to their spiritual well-being. And it's important for them. It's also someone who's incredibly reliable. With number 19. 19, 19, 19 came out. And that's something that's very powerful for you. Because the sun is the 19 card in the tarot deck. You have 10 here and 9. That's 19. And then you have 19 out on the bottom. So there's something here about 10, 10, 10. And also 19, 19. Just like there's some. I would I would look up 19, 19 to find a deeper meaning to the reading. Something that resonates with you. But 10, 10 showing that this is part of your path. You're both a part of each other's destiny. Okay. Now it's up to you both to make that decision. <laughs> ancestors generations this is just that confirmation that this is someone who's definitely not coming in with that old baggage right they've healed their ancestral wounds they've healed those those childhood traumas they're coming in from a place of harmony and peace like this is someone who's gonna bring a lot of peace into your life that's why it's meant to be like source isn't trying to put you in a place where you have all this suffering around you or anything anymore like you've done a lot of healing and now you're in this place and this person sees you as their they see you as their other sixth house establishing a foundation health daily life and practical details this is someone who definitely tends to their entire temple their entire being like they take care of their health they take care of their well-being they take care of their spiritual well-being they take care of everything about them because they've been in too many situations that have been very emotionally egoically based yang this is the masculine energy they're saying proactivity expression doing in forward motion and even if you're a man on here you could be embodying the feminine energy right now and this is a woman that's coming towards you in their yang or this is a man coming towards you in their yang but you're right now really embodying the feminine energy whatever you identify with this is the energy that they embody right now it doesn't matter right ultimately it doesn't matter what gender we are or we identify with it's that we both we all have masculine and feminine energies within us so let's get some of these um these cards out pantha oracle okay thank you thank you thank you what else would you like to say for this reading thank you can you tell us who secretly is deeply passionate about pile number one source okay on the bottom of the deck we have death we had death come out in the reading endless harm and inevitable it was like this was again this idea is this is an inevitable part of the journey this is something that they had to get over what was constantly happening in their lives those constant battles that were coming out Okay, these are all face down. Let's check out origin flu over here. We have initiation, creativity, and vitality. Yeah, this is something that's going to grow into something that's strong. The roots are going to follow, f flow deep. This is, this is again, this is a part of your origins. This is someone who's meant to be with you on this journey. And this is why, because this person has taken time to heal these connections that had them under control dictatorship domination reluctance like all those things that were connecting them to a lower vibrational frequency they let go of they said no more they had to learn how to heal and find relaxation within themselves peace tranquility and easiness and this is again that confirmation that they're bringing in an energy of peace into your life like this is not someone who's coming in to cause drama they don't want to cause drama that's the last thing they want to do because they've already had tons of drama in their own life and that's the last thing they want to do is bring drama into another person's life it's like no nope, i'm good on that <laughs> like that's the past and we're in the present let's live in the present and make a better future because they have evidence detection investigation and proof they have proof that being in a peaceful mindset is something that brings a lot of good into your life and it brings a lot of manifestations i also feel like this person may be investigating you 
They may be trying to find out more about you. So this could be someone who you actually don't know is looking at your Facebook or looking at your TikTok or your Instagram. Like they're following you on Instagram on social media because they want to get to know more about you right they're very passionate about you they like looking at your pictures they like looking at what you do but it's more than just a physical passion like this they are desiring you they deeply desire you like it's somebody who fantasizes about you deeply but on top of that it's like so much more than that like they want to build a home with you we have libation here, donation, pray, and religion. Again, this idea, this could be somebody who's very religious. That is confirmation to what I was feeling in the beginning. I love that that came out. We have withdrawal, quit, awakening, and rejection. Yeah, this is, they, they were very much made aware of those that were toxic in their lives. And they had to learn how to reject that. And they probably went through... A situation of withdrawal like we all do when we let go of the toxic individuals in our lives we all experience withdrawal right we have accident danger caution and injury so they could have been in a very bad accident you know sometimes what happens is our spirit will put us in this sounds crazy okay <laughs> but hang with me after studying our chakras for so long i've learned that sometimes our spirit is so tired of being out of whack that it will literally put us in harm's way not to kill us or anything like that but to have us have an accident like here you see his, his knee is hurt and knees are connected with ego and so it's like you're so stuck in your ego i'm going to make you fall down on your knees so that you can open that chi that's stuck in there and once the chi gets moving that's when the wisdom gets shot up into our third eye right and that's it's that's what it maybe this person went through like a really heavy accident and they hurt themselves like they hurt their knee or i, I keep seeing heart like they hurt their heart something hit them or something like damaged their chest they broke a rib or something like that and it forced them to open up their heart chakra okay that's a very specific message coming through and then we have overload excess obligation and overwhelm they've been obligated to relationships in the past and it's overwhelmed them and that's what they don't want to bring in they really want to bring in this loving beautiful energy to you because they're tired of having that heavy energy so i'm gonna take a look at your card i have to look at this off a of camera just to make sure that this is a a decent card <laughs> yeah so this is not a decent card um so we're just gonna show this it's sacred sexuality okay this is not a decent card this is this is not this is a very dirty naughty card okay <laughs> so i'm gonna leave it off camera but i'm gonna read it to you what this says okay and look, that's what I was saying. Like they do, they're very, very, very attracted to you. But sacred sexuality is so much deeper than just a sexual connection. This is someone who wants to connect emotionally, physically, spiritually, like on all levels, and then experience the manifestation of that through a sexual relationship. That's what they want with you. They don't want to just hook up and then be hooking up and continue. Like they want to experience the depth of what it is to be connected in mind, body, and soul. Okay. So that's why they're going to take their time here. And let me read this to you. It says... I connect with the constant beat of life that inhabits me. I tune in with the sacred drive of my sexuality. My sexuality is life and is nature. Therefore, I open up the doors to my creativity and I open myself to that energy flow. I know myself. I respect myself. I look after myself. I trust and I learn from loving myself. I observe the moment of the sacred and the profane. I transform the subtle and vulnerable energies, elevating my sexual drive, a large force filled with mysteries, a dance of energies, a point of contact that contains the life force of creation. I integrate my in invigorated self, stimulating mind, body, and emotions. I unclog blockages and connect with the cosmic mind. I glimpse the mysteries of the universe. Sexual centers. I connect with my centers of sexual energy. I focus my attention in my lower cent centers while I gently breathe, thinking, thanking the moment of life force that resides within. An authentic and pure sexual expression creates radiant health. And let me see. No, that's it. Okay. So... <laughs> I would I would leave this on there but this is a, this is I really love these arts like I love this art and I'm so sad that I can't show this but this is someone who is into tantra okay this is someone who wants to experience that with you and this is someone who has taken the time to love themselves deeply so that they bring a very 
reliable, centered self into any connection that they choose to move forward with and they choose you. Like this is someone who really does choose you. This is a very high vibrational connection. Okay, it's 2333 on the clock saying that. This is somebody who's very high vibrational and that's the type of person who is secretly deeply passionate and desiring you right now okay if you feel like this resonates with you leave the little hand i think it's the waving hand down below and say i embrace my sacred sexuality and let source open me up to my deepest connection so you let source know you're ready to bring in this beautiful connection that's coming to you leave me a thumbs up i'm gonna go ahead and leave it there though and get on out of here i want to take a quick second though to thank your guides your spirit messengers your angel source and my guides for coming together to give us this incredible message and until next time pile number one stay human bye hello my fellow human if you were drawn to this beautiful red jasper or if you were drawn to this card during the shuffle then this is going to be your reading on who is secretly deeply passionate for you and who's de deeply secretly desiring you right now so we're going to kind of get some more information as we go keeping in mind these are general readings so please take what resonates and leave what does not knowing that as you interact with the channel by liking commenting and subscribing down below it does allow me an opportunity to directly connect with your energy get you out uh, more resonant readings also you can support the channel further by finding all those links down below in the description box you can email me for a personal reading and i'll get you out further information from there and you can also follow me on over to my podcast which is just a fun chill hangout session with yours truly and i do really hope to see you there also memberships are now live so welcome member if this is a member on here watching welcome welcome awesome amazing i totally didn't say that before but i'm saying it now <laughs> no place to start like the present and uh, for those of you that are wondering what the heck is a membership, check out the join button down below. There are three options available for you. There's love drops, love blossoms, and love bloomers. And when you click that join button, it'll allow you to take a look at what perks are available for each level. Okay, so that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading and find out some more about who is secretly deeply passionate for pile number two source. What messages can you give to us? Can you tell us more about this person who is secretly deeply passionate for pile number two? What messages do you have for us, Source? What can you let us know more about this person? Okay, so we've got sixth house, we've got Venus energy, and we've got Libra energy. So this is definitely someone who's very much about their personal relationships. They want to build strong personal relationships. Let me grab my block over here. <clears throat> This is also somebody who takes care of their health, someone who builds strong relationships with those that they work with and those in their day-to-day -day lives. So whoever they're around, they do try to keep close tabs on those people like me, sure that they're okay, taking care of them, looking out for them. This is someone who takes care of their overall appearance, but also who really leans into self-love. Like you're going to find that this person really wants to take care of their own personal life they want to make sure that they're whoever they're in love with is taken care of they want to make sure that those that they care about are taken care of like this is just someone who really does care about the things that most people just forget to take care of right whenever we think about self-care it's usually oftentimes when people put themselves on the back burner and that's why they don't do self-care is because they're so worried about taking care of everyone else and this person here really believes about taking care of themselves first so that they can pass that on to everyone else the other thing that's unique about this person is they have open enemies people who say all kinds of manipulative rude bad things to this person and they just don't i don't give an f like that's what i'm hearing i don't give an f i don't care i don't care like they just don't care about their open enemies they're like go ahead keep talking because i'm the one that's living my life like this is someone who's very confident and secure in the path that they've taken this is someone who is very attractive and seductive this is someone who is you could see them as maybe a rich snob 
because they enjoy the finer things in life. This is someone who enjoys spoiling themselves, but they also spoil those that they love, right? So this is someone whose love language might be gifts. They might really rely on gifts to show the person that they care about that I really do care about you. And so they'll buy you gifts or they'll give you gifts. Wow, my ring just came off. That was crazy. This is also someone who is very financially fit. This is someone who's financially stable. They're a very reliable person. They like to lean into that reliability. I also feel like this is someone that everybody wants, but they can't have. They just can't have, right? They like to serve others. This is someone who deeply likes to service others. They like to be involved in things that matter. Hold on just a second. This is someone who's very artistic, intelligent, very good looking, very friendly. At times they can be indecisive, but I feel like that's also something that they're deeply working on. That's something that they don't like about themselves, and so they're really trying to fix it. Like, they really are trying to fix it, right? This is someone who likes peace in their life. They like balance, okay? This is someone who can kind of seem a little bit feminine. So if this is a masculine coming in, they're still going to have that feminine charm and grace to them. Okay, this is someone who just, they understand what it is to receive. They get it. They get what receiving is. They have mastered the art of manifestation, but the receiving part, okay? And that's the part that most people have the most difficulties with is the receiving part. They don't. This person doesn't. They just, if they want you, they're going to get you. And if they want to manifest it, they're going to get it. Like, this is somebody who doesn't struggle with calling in what it is that they want. So let's go ahead and put this over there and see what comes out with the tarot. We are only using one deck today. It's an illuminated tarot deck. It's just what Source wanted. So Source gets what Source asked for. So Source, can you tell us more about this person who secretly is deeply passionate for pile number two? Can you tell us more here, Source? Who's secretly deeply passionate for pile number two? Okay, one more. Okay, who's secretly deeply passionate for pile number two? This is someone who follows their gut feeling. They don't believe in intuition. Like, they don't believe that they're... They believe in intuition, but they don't believe that they're intuitive. But they always follow their gut feeling, which is the same thing. <laughs> Can you tell us more about this person? Like, it's it's just they don't, they don't see themselves as that really super intuitive individual. But they actually really are. They see other people as psychic and intuitive. They just don't, they don't, they don't hold that title for themselves. That's what it is. Yeah, this is someone who's always self-reflecting. This is someone who might be older than you. And again, this idea, they're very well set in life. This is someone who's very well set in life. We have the two of cups with temperance here on the bottom. This is someone who's very healed but also very loving. Like they're coming in from a very loving place. Like that's why they're so passionate about you because they feel like you would reciprocate their love and you would do it in your own way. And that is something that they are really driven by is like, what is it that pile two loves like? Like how do they pass on love? Like they see you in action. They've seen you in action, giving love to others, but that's people that you're not like romantically connected with. They want to know how you would give love to someone that you're romantically connected with. Right. Yeah, they want to have a conversation here. Oh my goodness. Oof. Oof. Let's, whoa. <laughs> whoa, let's calm down. We have the two of wands. We have the five of wands also depicting the devil. This is the knight of, of diamonds depicting the hermit and temperance. Let's just take a look. Oh, and the moon. So again, this idea, this is very secret. This is someone you don't know. You don't know who this is. And I feel like when they first come in, like you're just going to think this person wants sex. But they don't. <laughs> that's not what they want at all like they just really are they're really they're really driven by how you show up in life but don't get it wrong this person does think about the dirty dirty with you what happened to my card is that wax that's interesting cut wax oh okay so they they are they like wax you know when they use the candle and they pour the wax yeah so that was why that came in i've never seen that before that's crazy we've got wax on the card but this is someone who thinks about, like, 
what it would be to maybe they're they're like into this softer side of bdsm like they're not really into that really being dominant or anything like that but you know like maybe the fuzzy handcuff stuff <laughs> like stuff like that like they're into and they would like to do that stuff with you but they would really like to have these conversations with you like this is something they want to find out what it is that you're comfortable with in the bedroom this someone might have green eyes they may have like uh amber colored eyes that's that's unique that's very unique uh thin lips i'm seeing i'm also seeing something about their skin tone is something that's coming through as well like that you're going to notice like very exotic looking to you okay and that's that's going to be different for everybody but they're very exotic looking to you this is also someone that maybe in your past you might have like really obsessed for like oh my gosh I can't believe that this is a person who's actually interested in me like that's somebody that I would have like just I would have been writing our names in the notebook like you know <laughs> Janet loves Steve or Steve and Nadia or you know whatever it is it's just like you know these ideas of like you would have been totally hearting on them and crushing on them and stuff and like that's why I feel like when they first come in they just have such a presence to them that you really believe that this is someone who just wants a physical relationship, but that's not at all what they want. Like, of course, that's a bonus to it. And they do think about that, but they're really thinking about bringing balance into your life. Like they see that you have gone through a lot and that you've had to heal a lot. And they like that about you. Like that's something they feel like they can connect with you on. And they like that. And they want to have like, there's this idea of being in front of the fireplace, like having the fire going and having a blanket on the floor and like reading a book to each other or just having deep conversations with each other, just being present with one another. That's something that they really think about would be really nice with you. And this person's very, this person's very different. Like, like, of course, I feel like all the people who are interested in my collective are going to be different. Maybe I'm a little biased. Okay, maybe I am. Whatever. But I feel like most of my collective is higher vibrational beings coming on here. And so you're not going to get the general Joe Schmo that's like, let's just hit it and quit it. Like, let's just talk about, you know, let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you. It's not going to be like that. Like, it's, it's sometimes that energy does come in, but I feel like it's more or less the people you've let go of. This is like who's deeply, secretly passionate about you. This is not that energy, right? This is someone who has obsessed over you secretly behind closed doors. We see that with the moon coming out here. This is someone who has thought about you in dirty ways behind closed doors. It's not something that they go and they shot off to their friends where they're like, oh my gosh, have you seen Pile 2's Badonka Donk? Have you seen Pile 2's chest? Have you seen Pile 2's body? Have you seen their face? Like, I could do all kinds of crazy things to it. Like, that's not, this is not that person. Like, they're very secretive about who they care about. Even though conversations like that may transpire around them, that's not something that they actually take part in. They're very respectful. This is someone who, when it comes to bedroom or beneath the sheets, they keep it there. Like, that's something they're not going to go and tell everybody about their rendezvous, right? That's not something that they're doing. They want to talk to you about it. This is a very intimate person. They want to keep it intimate, but they do care about you deeply. Not only are they passionate about you, they're very secretly passionate. They very secretly desire you, but they actually really care about you. Like, they see you as someone that they could build a life with. They see you as someone that they could have existence with is what I'm hearing. I see you as, I see pile two as someone I could have existence with. That's the type of person this is. Like they don't, they don't want like the white picket fence or being able to stay close to a Starbucks or whatever. This is someone who would probably want to live out in the middle of nowhere. You know, like if they lived by the ocean, they would want to have the only house next to the ocean for miles. This is someone who would want a secluded private beach. Like if they lived in the woods, they would have the only house for miles. You'd have to drive for hours to get to the store. Like if that's not something that you want, they're willing to compromise. But that's the type of person this is. They're very private. They like to keep things private. They don't like to share. And part of that is what puts them in this place of having open enemies because they're never telling anybody anything and people are trying to dig information out of them all the time. But equally so, this person is like the talk of town because they're so attractive. This is someone who's very, they may be very unique in the way that they look. Okay, this may be someone that you're 
like again I'm saying it's like somebody that you would have been obsessing over in your younger days or in your unhealed days like you would have just been like oh my gosh like this person is actually talking to me like I can't I can't even believe it but now you're like yeah I'm worthy of someone like this but not only that it's like you fall in love with the soul before you fall in love with the face you're like you're a pretty face but are you more than that and that's exactly what's coming through here it's like they are there's so much more than just a pretty face like they're actually a deep soul and there's that connection that comes from that that deep deep connection let's get some oracles out for you so please have some more messages here for pile number two source what else would you like to say okay you got two of these we have trust the great mystery with 65 which in numerology is 11 yeah so we're already talking sources like the mystery of this is this is a very spiritual level this is something that is like 5d and higher type kind of connection like you guys are con going to connect on a soul level before you connect physically and then we have number 50 here overcoming any obstacles so this is they've been sent to your to your path you've been sent to their path because you both have overcome some really dark obstacles in your life some really hard obstacles and that's what they feel like they can connect with you on is the things that you've overcome the things that you've let go they're like whoa like this person has really healed a lot like this person's been through a lot like maybe you talk about your past and you talk about the lessons that you've learned from that and that's what they feel like they're like yeah maybe i don't talk about it like pile two does but i'm glad that pile two does talk about it because if they didn't i would never know that that they went through any of that look 55 time to heal okay somebody on here yeah you're gonna know you're gonna if you know if you know who you know you are you and all that interesting stuff and i love that if you're a love bloomer give me a little heart down below i'll let you pick give me a little heart down below just don't do the purple one the purple one's for those of you guys that stick it out so give me a little scatter heart or the little round heart or whatever you know who you know you are okay because this is this is so synchronistic to that Okay, so this is someone who's definitely healed and they see you as someone who's healed and now they feel like you're meant to be in their lives. Like they feel like they can come forward. What's peeking out love is all around. Yeah, this look at number 41, five. So you may see fives a lot. Look, the five of wands, the five, the 50 card is rhino, 55 with snake. And then we had 41, which is five in numerology with the nightingale spirit. So five, 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 five could mean something to you that could be <clears throat> on your license plate your phone number that could have been your house number growing up it could have been a family member's house number growing up or phone number in your family members that could be this person's the last digits of this person's number or they could have four fives in their phone number you could have four fives in your number it doesn't have to be all together i don't know why they're saying this is i don't ever talk about house numbers and phone numbers so this is something to do with you're gonna know like it's just gonna be super synchronistic okay and then we have look 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 at that look number 14 and numerology that's five so we had 41 14 come out for you we have equality seahorse exactly they see you as their equal they see you as someone they want to protect because they do see that there's turbulent energy around you and i feel like they're too experiencing turbulent energy and they know that you can handle this by yourself they see you as a pure being they know that you can absolutely handle this by yourself but they don't want you to they don't want you to have to deal with that by yourself. They're like, I get it. I know you're strong enough to handle this by yourself, but I don't want you to go through it alone anymore. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Look, honeybee, reci reciprocity, number six, the balance, harmony, finding a resolution. This is absolutely someone who is reciprocal. They see you as their significant other. Like it just happened that way. Like they they met you, they talked with you, they had a maybe one or two conversations with you. They could know you from work. They could know you wherever it is. This is somebody who's who's at least had one conversation with you. And they're just like, that's my person. That's it. That's who they are. They know what it is to be in a very uncomfortable place and to heal from it, overcoming any obstacle. Stillness. Yeah, if you sit in meditation, I feel like Source will help show you who this person is. But I feel like this is exactly where they're coming from. This is someone who meditates. This is someone who takes time to connect with their selves in a very deep manner. They rely on their higher self, right? They don't believe in intuition for themselves, but they think that other people are intuitive. They just know that they follow their gut. Like, that's something that they really feel. It's like, I follow my gut, my gut feeling. And it's like, for all of us, we're like, that is your intuition, but that's not the label that they hold. 
that's not the label that they hold. Again, this idea, this person wants to nurture. They want to take care of you. This is someone who wants to take care of you. They know you can take care of yourself. That's never been a question here. They're not questioning that. What they want is to be someone who shows up for you because they've seen you do it by yourself. And they don't feel like you deserve to stay in a place where you have to continue to do it by yourself. This could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, open-mindedness, objectivity, and learning. They like to have conversations with you, too. That's who's deeply passionate about it. This is someone who's very communicative. They want to have those open, hard conversations. They see, like, they see you as someone who's not going to shy away from those types of conversations. Like, you're not going to run away at the first sign of, like, a difficult situation or conversation. It's about conversation. This has to do with conversation. It's not a fight or anything like that. Like, they feel like if they had an argument with you, like, you, you guys could sit down in the moment and discuss it and come to a resolution. Is they feel like you're that mature. They feel like they're that mature mutable yeah so definitely could be a gemini here okay gemini is standing out highly here so is libra could be an aquarius but we have uh gemini virgo sag and pisces surrender fluidity and welcoming change and change is represented by all the fives we have coming out yeah this person's ready to make a change they're ready to make it's like i want to come forward and tell pile two they definitely want to tell you Let's get some of these Pantha Oracle cards out for more clarification source. What else would you like to say to pile number two? What else would you like to say to pile number two? Interesting. In wow. Okay. Hello. Oh. Oh, this person. Oh. They want those two. Okay. Oh. Pile two. I want to give their person a hug. Fate. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, that just was like, oh my lordy lord. Here we have this reading, and this fate card talks about tarot readings, right? Fortune telling, uh, fatalism, and coincidence. Yeah, so it's like, and 10 being a completion, right? Being a completion. And I feel like this could be a Pisces or a Gemini. Those are the two signs that are really standing out for me here on this card. You see them there. Those are just the two that are really standing out. But source saying this is faded. This is absolutely faded. Okay, we've got a ton of these cards here. Let me see if I can organize this pile here. Let's see. Put that there. Let's talk about the ones that flipped over. We're going to put that there. Illness was the first one that popped up. Disease, weakness, and fragility. I don't feel like this person has an illness. I feel like this person went through illnesses either as a child or they recently recovered from something or they had a lot of disease in their family that they actually had to heal themselves so that they didn't contract it, like diabetes or something along those lines. Like this person's very much paying attention to their health. Like that's something that they definitely take care of is their health. And I feel like this is why. Because they have a history of illness in their family this person likes to indulge they like to be happy they like interaction they like being friends with people we saw that with the libra energy here this is someone who likes to indulge we see that with the venusian energy here this is someone who likes to be in a place of self-care they like to take care of themselves but this person's also experienced a lot of loss we have bereavement sorrow damage they could have lost an animal recently they could have lost a family member recently the first thing I saw is the dog here, and I felt like maybe they recently lost a, a dog or a cat. I'm hearing a chameleon. That is so random. I'm hearing a bearded dragon. Whoa, let's get with it, huh? But some kind of animal or person that they felt really close to, someone that brought a sense of stability into their lives, and that's something that they went through. And they feel like that's something they can share with you or you could have gone through this loss, but I do feel like it is them. Okay, like that's the energy here. Yeah, profession, expertise, omniscient, omniscient, yeah, and talent. So this is someone who has many talents. Okay, this is someone who might not have a profession like what you would expect. Like they might do things that are that are a lot different than what you would expect, but that's because it's what brings this person happiness. Yeah, exactly. They've definitely thought about having a family with you, the bond, the home, the background. This is what they've healed is a family lineage, uh, generational curses. <laughs> 
ominous. We have cautiousness, sign, and insidious. This is what they see you dealing with, that turbulence that was coming through. And they don't want you to deal with it alone. Like this person is very aware of the people that are around you and the people who actually are for you and who aren't for you. Homeless, failure, castaway, and poor. I feel like this is why, like, this person has been through it. This person may have been homeless. They may be homeless, and they're trying to find a way to find stability. They could see you as someone who's been in a homeless situation or in a very deep, dark failure situation, or you've been cast away, or you're fighting that idea of, you know, being poor, like you're letting that go and coming into a place of finding balance. So they've had withdrawal, an awakening, a rejection, a quitting of something here. They had to quit something that kept drawing them back. Something that was no good for them. This is someone who had to quit that. So that they could come into their place of origin. To see who they are. Initiation, creativity, and vitality. This is them finding their truth. We have 22 up here. right? Trusting in the process. Knowing that they can grow out of what's no longer serving them. They definitely daydream about you. Optimism, illusion, and deliriousness. Yeah, this is someone who spends a lot of time daydreaming about you. Like just thinking about you, thinking about the things that they would do with you, thinking about the things they want to talk to you about with you. So whoever this is, I do feel like this person though, like there's something about their essence. They're very like childlike by nature inducement, persuasion, bribe, and temptation. This is what they're fighting off right now. You could be too, but I feel like this is what they're fighting off right now, currently. Okay? And good news, encouragement, miracle, and surprise. And they want to surprise you with some good news. They want to surprise you with this, hey, I want to be with you. I really like you. I enjoy your company. Like, I, I think we should go on a date. We should get together. And Source is saying, like, heck yeah, because it's fate. This is a triumph for you. Okay, I'm going to take a look at your card. I have to look at this off screen to make sure that it's... Uh, screen friendly <laughs> okay and then we'll read this out of the book fibonacci this one always comes out i feel like it's just like that reminder though it's unfurling like the fibonacci sequence right the fibonacci sequence is a geometric it's sacred geometry right it's something that the whole universe is built on and i've always talked about how everything we do in life is like this cycle that we go through so what we experienced here we might experience again here and what we experienced over here we might experience again out here but we're always going to come back around to it and it's through our growth that determines whether or not that's going to be something that plays a part later on in our future and that's what it feels like here it's like you both have really dealt with all those situations and things that you have let go of right so we have fibonacci let's read this out of the book Okay, Fibonacci. Something reaching. They're ready to reach out. It says nature, simple and complex, is an everlasting source of observation and knowledge. Flowers, branches, and plants impregnate me with their perfection. Therefore, contemplating, I ask her, and in her reflection, I find out that I am like an underground current, hiding infinite secrets within its diverse patterns. Again, this idea, this is something that they haven't told anybody about and you probably have no idea that it's actually this person. Like, you might know who I'm talking about, but you're like, really? That person? I observe my path moving like rhythmic sequence of spider web. And this, that is how I'm weaving my own life in cyclic progression, revealing the secrets that tell me how to navigate my own journey. I finally remember that I am nature herself. I observe the illusion of living separated, separated from her. I remember who I am, who we are. And step by step, I move forward along my path. Adopt the pace of nature. Her secret is patience. Yeah, this person's very patient. It's not someone who's going to rush in or anything like that. They definitely would take it one step at a time. But this is somebody who definitely does want to build something with you. And they are going to come forward soon, I feel. And I do feel like it's going to surprise you. This does feel like somebody who's lived a very similar parallel life to you so like you may have resonated personally with a lot of the messages that came out in this reading and it's because this person you're meant to have parallel lives like that's something that you're meant to share with one another okay so if this resonated with you 
leave a little moon emoji down below and say, I open up to the fate that is mine and triumph in my daily life. So you let source know that you're ready to open up to this beautiful energy. This absolutely is a beautiful connection here that's coming in for you. But this is what I see for you. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and get on out of here. I do want to take a quick second, though, to thank your guides, your spirit messengers, your angel source, and my spirit guides for coming together to give us this message. And until next time, pile number two, stay human. Bye. Hello, my fellow human. If you were drawn to this beautiful tiger's eye, or if you were drawn to this card during the shuffle, then this is going to be a reading on who is secretly deeply passionate for you or who's secretly deeply desiring you. We'll take a look at that at the end. <clears throat> Keep in mind these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what does not. Knowing that as you interact with the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing down below, it does allow me an opportunity to directly connect with your energy and get you out more resonant readings. If you are interested in supporting the channel further, check out the description box below where you will find all the links necessary to do so. You can email me for a personal reading and I'll get you out further information from there. And you can also follow me on over to my podcast, which is just a fun, chill hangout session with yours truly. And I really do hope to see you there. Also, welcome, welcome for those of you that are members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel in this way. I'm truly excited to have you here. If you're like, wait, what? Memberships? What's going on? Uh, take a look down below or you'll see a join button and you can check out the options that I have available for you. There are three options, love drops, love blossoms, and love bloomers. And you can also check, click on the join button and it'll show you the perks available for each level. So you can join which one is best for you if that's something you're interested in. But for those of you that have joined, thank you. Thank you deeply and so much for being here. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get into it and find out who it is. That is secretly deeply passionate for pile number three source. What messages can you give to us? How can you help us better understand who is secretly deeply passionate for pile number three? Rolling, rolling, rolling. We've got cancer energy, we've got the 12th house, and we've got Venus. I swear Venus has come out in all three piles. So definitely like this confirmation that yes, this is the message I wanted to talk about today. Source, I just love Source energy so much and all the confirmations that Source does. Such a beautiful thing. This is someone who's definitely had a lot. They may have had an addiction in their past. This is someone who may have overcome that and had to learn how to nurture themselves very deeply and had to forgive themselves, okay? This is also someone who's very dreamy. They may have some very big eyes, like big cartoonish looking eyes, or there's something unique about their eyes. Or there's something very unique about the way that they look. Like, they don't look like they're real. They look like they belong in a cartoon. Okay? <laughs> this is also someone who is very spiritual. They're known as an old soul. They may have seen past lives with you or felt like you guys have experienced past lives together. This is someone who has dreams that they remember. They may go out of their way to write down their dreams, but they do remember their dreams regardless if they write them down or not. This is someone who has had to face their fears and they do enjoy their solitude. This is someone who likes alone time. I like me, my, I like me, my me time. Okay. They're very, very loyal, very nurturing and kind and caring and loving. This is someone who's had to overcome codependence. That was something that was hugely running rampant in their life. They had to overcome that. Okay. They've definitely healed from situations where maybe they were passive aggressive or they dealt with passive aggressive people. They had to come to terms with themselves. That's what it feels like here. This is someone who had to come to terms with themselves and what it was that they were doing and how they were showing up. This is someone who's now very sensitive in a good way. They're very sensitive to others' emotions, their needs, their wants, their desires. And they're very sensitive to their own wants, needs, and desires. And what does that mean to them? This is someone who likes comfort. They like safety. They do their best to provide that for themselves. And that's something that they would want in their relationship as well. This is someone who likes the idea of having a home and spending time at home. They're not going to be like always out and about. This is somebody who's like a homebody. They like to build memories in the home. They like to have get togethers at home, at their home. This is someone who would like to throw like reunions in their home. This is someone who would like to have get togethers with their friends in their home or with your family in their home. Like that's something that this person really does enjoy. <clears throat> 
This is someone who likes art. They're very sociable. Even though they like their me time, this is someone who's also very much out in the collective and connecting with the collective. This is someone who is very attractive, very attractive, very, very, very attractive. Someone who's sensual, someone that a lot of people like. And that's something that's been very true about all three piles today is these are very attractive individuals that are very, they're, they like y'all. Okay. They like y'all. Let's just own it. Let's just own it. That's because my collective is higher vibrational and they all, they all deserve that high love and y'all deserve somebody attractive too. I know it's falling in love with a soul. That's fine, but we do have our standards as well and that's okay too. But if our standards physically aren't met, that's never a deal breaker, right? The soul part is a deal breaker. <laughs> so I feel like source is just over blessing is that even a thing? Can we be over blessed? I don't know. But source is super blessing. Let's call it that. Super blessing my collective and saying you all have worked really hard and you deserve this. Okay. This is someone though who is very financially balanced. They are very strong and very capable of providing security for themselves. Like that's just something that's coming through. They like to enjoy the finer things in life, but they really enjoy having a very secure safe home which means the bills are taken care of there's not anything like if something comes up out of the blue you're not going to have to worry about home because that's the first thing they're going to take care of because that's the thing that matters to them let's see if we can get some more information on it for you so source who is secretly deeply passionate for pile number three who is secretly deeply passionate for pile number three so definitely could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could also be Taurus or Libra or have those placements highly aspect in their chart. I am hearing Libra Moon. Okay. Who is secretly deeply passionate for pile number three? Okay, thank you. This is someone who knows how to balance and take on multiple projects at a time. That's kind of what life is gives them good i'm i gotta take off my ring my hands are cold and it keeps falling off and it's driving me nuts <laughs> all right so this person may have cold hands right like my hands are really cold right now this person may have cold hands or they may feel really cold when you first meet them because they don't trust very easily this is someone who doesn't trust very easily this is someone who takes their time to open up who is secretly deeply passionate about pile number three? Thank you, source. Who is secretly deeply passionate about pile number three? Yeah, they definitely want to build. They like building a community around them. They like having a community around them. This person may have a lot of friends, but their friendships have been built over time. Whoa, okay. That was weird. Did you see how that like landed? It was like dancing. This person may really like to dance. This person may really like music very feminine though right this is the empress on the queen of hearts here so this is empress energies connected with venus energy also taurus and libra so this is someone who's very feminine by nature like they may be in touch with their feminine side this may be the divine feminine and you may be the divine masculine if not this is just someone who is okay with expressing their feminine self if they're a divine masculine they also enjoy being in their divine feminine yeah, <laughs> like we have the king of, of spades here also depicting the emperor. They feel like you are their match. Match made in heaven. You are my perfect person. Yeah, and they're definitely financially set, right? This is someone who is, it's justice for your for your journey. This is someone who's sent to balance it out. <coughs> wow, excuse me. But they are very financially set here with the king of diamonds coming through here. But let's look at this this is the empress this is the emperor in this deck so you have one of the highest physical connections you can have here the only higher connection that i feel you would have here is if it was the pope and the popes because that's like spiritual right that's very spiritual but this is a very physical manifested connection here in the physical plane does not by any means say that it's not going to be spiritual. This is just saying it's manifested. This is something that's very physical, that people are going to see you as a power couple. They see you as a power couple. There's something unique about both of your eyes. You may have very almond-shaped eyes or very colorful eyes, like maybe green or blue, or like I'm seeing like a really light, light, light colored blue, like 
that's why they stand out so much or that's them they have it's the shape of their eyes it's the color of their eyes it's very brilliant very bright this is someone who's going to be honest with you even if it hurts like they're just gonna always be honest they thrive on their honesty this is someone who's also very kind and compassionate like they're not trying to hurt you but they feel like their kindness comes from their honesty and so even if it's hard honesty like they're gonna always be be giving that to you this is someone who just thrives in that place they really really do and they're very honest with their friends with those around that's why it takes them a while to open up because a lot of people think that this person's arrogant they think that they're manipulative or that they're trying to take advantage. But then when people really get to know this person, they see like, whoa, no, this is just who they are. Like they're a very honest person and they're going to tell you with their honest opinion or what their honest feeling is. They're not going to hide from that. We have the ace of clubs here depicting strength. This person is very strong. This person is strong of character. They are also very turned on by you okay <laughs> like this is someone who's just very turned on by you when they see you they just think you're so beautiful that you're so handsome they just feel like like if anybody existed in the world that was their perfect match it would have to be you this has been a pretty positive reading which i'm actually excited about i really do appreciate that like sometimes they're not all like super high vibrational but they are healing and i feel like this is more or less like you've done the healing and this is who's deeply passionate about you but it is secretive it is secretive and I don't necessarily see them coming forward right now. This is someone who's still working on facing the person in the mirror. Okay, like the other other two piles of someone who's coming forward right now, they're ready to say something, but this is a different energy. This definitely feels like in the shadows and they're comfortable in the shadows for now because they're trying to build something. And they want to build something before they come to you. You might be like, but they don't need to build anything to come to me. And it's not about that. It's not about how you're going to receive them. That's about how they feel when they show up in this connection. Right? And so they're like in the process of taking care of something right now. They're in the process of taking action towards some sort of inspiration that they've been given. And as they build that, they're going to find some a bigger community or a more elite community for them. And that's, this is someone who's extremely well balanced, okay? This is someone who, while they're still healing, this is someone who has taken the time to find balance in that. They thrive in their masculine, but they also, they are someone who also thrives in their feminine energy. They like to help others. This is someone who likes to give to others, okay? This is more than, than receiving manifestations. This person is not about receiving much in this world. Like, it's cool as long as they have the money they need to take care of what's theirs. But this is someone who will go out of their way to give a lot to people. To give a lot. And they like that. They like that they're like that. Because they feel like the world needs more people like that. This is a very dynamic person. They have a lot going on for them. They see a very diverse world. This is someone who sees, it's like, have you ever heard that song? Is that a Michael Jackson song? We are the people. We are the world. I don't remember exactly how it goes, but it's like, I think it's in Free Willy. <laughs> the movie. Wow. That's an old movie. Anyways, it's like where they're all holding hands and they're they're like around the world. It's showing that. That's what I'm seeing right now. It's like where they're all holding hands and they're they're around the world. Like that's what they want, a united world. And I'm also seeing like taking care of nature. This is someone who's environmentally aware of things, the good and bad for nature. And so this is someone who's trying to do their best to come into a space of not having any garbage like this is someone who would love to have like what is it a pint of garbage per year like that's a goal that they have they don't want to have a lot of garbage they want to recycle and compost everything and that's something they take a lot of pride in like this is somebody who's really all about I want to give as much as I can and and if that's me taking the action to give that then I'll do that whether that's to the earth mother Gaia or whether that's to other people who need it or whether that's to lift people up when they need it like they don't really pay attention to how people come at them because this person has been at the lowest of lows and so they are in a place of just understanding that sometimes people are coming from a hurt place because they themselves have come from a hurt place and so it's not it doesn't bother them like that doesn't bother them if somebody shows up from 
wiling out or something like that, that doesn't bother them. They're not like, oh my gosh, like that, I'm taking that personal, like you did that, that was, they're not like that. This is someone like, oh, I get it, like you're coming from a bad place, like you're just having a bad day. Take a leap of faith, grasshopper spirit. So when they get ready, they are definitely going to leap in full force, 1444 on the clock. Right, this is someone who's going to sleep in just wholeheartedly. Like, I'm coming in. I'm coming out, so you better get this party started. Right? Like, that's how they're rolling in. They're going to roll in like a bat out of hell. Like, that's what they're going to do. But they're not ready. They're not ready yet. But that's their plans. It's almost like they're making, like, they're writing out their plans and their goals. And, like, this is the, this is the the way it's going like I want to have this built I want to have this community set I want to be able to do this with my life and I want to have this home set and then I'm going to pile three and I'm like hey look I'm here ta-da right like that's what they're gonna do yeah this person's in their path of purpose like they're owning their strength they're owning who they are like that's what I'm saying like they just don't care anymore what people say about them they've heard it all they've heard it all and they just don't care they're just um it's it's not even about not caring it's like they're just unbothered they're unbothered by how people show up like i'm not going to be bothered by it because they're owning their own power they know that the world is a dualistic place it's very contrast by nature they also know that if they don't empower themselves they'll never be able to get where it is that they're going and sometimes that means going through some tumultuous waters rains weather they get that because they've emerged from the depths they're not really saying how much like what it is that they desire you at they are definitely attracted to you they are definitely like in this place of like wanting you and having a home with you maybe when we get to the pantha oracle we'll definitely find out some more information about that but they're being more clear about why they are on their journey and where they're at and why that matters to them right now please have one of these cards for pile number three source whoa thank you I'm flying off the table. House three. Early learning childhood relations. The rational mind and communication could be a twin flame for some of you. Not for all of you. For others of you. Well, for everyone. This is saying that this is someone who's healing their, their mental state from their childhood. Right? How they see the world. How they communicate with themselves. How they communicate with others. That's something that's very important to them so that they know that they're being heard correctly and that they also are understanding others. Like we have starfish spirit open to the infinite possibilities. They know that they're a creator, but it's not about receiving for them. It's like I keep coming back to that. Like it's not about receiving for them. It's about changing the world, being the change they wish to see, and they embody that fully. Look, oh my gosh. Whoa, swords, bring it in. We have chameleon and change. I didn't even know what this was. And it's going to go over the three of diamonds here. Three, three, three. Okay, let's be with it. This is someone who is all about change. That's it. Like, I cannot make this stuff up. That's so insane. I love that. Thank you so much, swords. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's like in their heart. Their heart is saying, I want to be change in the world. I want the world to change. And I know I can't change the world unless I change. And so that's their change in the world. And they're going to embody everything that they've ever wanted the world to become. That's what they're embodying. And they do it flawlessly because it's a part of their heart. That's what their heart wants. And they know that what their heart wants matters. Pisces. Yeah, so this could be a Pisces. This is intimacy, intuition, and compassion. This person is so kind and gentle. They could have a Pisces rising as well. That's something that is coming in. Or you could have Pisces rising or be a Pisces. But this person's very intuitive, very understanding. Like, that's the energy I'm getting here. It's like this person's extremely understanding. It's a very extraordinary energy, honestly. Let's get some Panther Oracle on it and see if we can find out just a bit more information about this person source. What more could you tell us? Oh, I'm not surprised at some of these. I don't know if you can see, but merit making flipped over over here. I'll show you when we get to it. What else would you like to say for pile three? Thank you, source. What else would you like to say for pile three? Okay. disturbance obscure irritation and supernatural yeah they've had to deal with a lot of disturbances in their lives they've also dealt with a lot of loneliness and that's why it takes them so long to open up 
dullness, disappointment, isolation. Like a lot of people have not believed in them or tried to cheer them on or anything. In fact, I think a lot of people have judged them. And that's why they just come from this place. Like, again, they, they had to face themselves. Right? We have self-love here. Self-concern, self-healing, and independence. They've had to face themselves and learn to love themselves deeply. And because of that, it's like they just are unbothered by others. They realize that this energy has no place in their lives. And so they just, it's its almost like ignoring it or just like they just shake it off. Like that's your garbage to hold on to. You know, I'm, I'm working on making this world a better place. And so living and learning here, we have experience, training and development. And so they've learned not to carry other people's hardships. Blessings here, fulfillment, well-being, and enlightenment. Yeah, they are a very enlightened person. This person is very enlightened. But not without what was hard. Not without difficulties. It didn't come easily. They had to really, again, this idea of facing themselves keep coming through here. Merit-making, goodness, humanness, and morality. This is someone who wants the world to be a reflection of love. This is a beautiful energy. Pile three, whoever this is, this is a very beautiful energy. This is someone who, like, it's 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 rare to connect with people who are this understanding of the world and the universe and the workings of things that are going on, even things outside of our control. Like, they're just unbothered by everyone else at the same time doing their best to make the world a better place reservation desire worth and extravagance yeah they actually don't live this way like this is not someone coming in with a million bucks this is not someone coming in with super deep pockets yes they take care of their home they make sure their bills are paid but this is someone who's coming in from a place of desiring simple living okay that's exactly how this person this is the type of energy they're in and that's why they're so deeply blessed they don't actually want to live in an extravagant life because that's what they wanted before. And it brought a lot of conflict into their life. Difference, dis, uh, disputes, and quarrels that brought a lot of problems into their life. So their goal changed. Their purpose, their expectation, their destination, where they were headed. It all changed. And we have vow. So they made a vow to themselves. This was their wish, their hope. This is what they worship. This is what they go after. Making the world a better place. Because of how much they've lost. Oh, this person. Bereavement, sorrow, and damage. They've lost a lot. They've lost a lot of people in their lives. Because a lot of people just want something for themselves. 22, 22 on the clock. They just want something for themselves. They didn't care about this person. And so they would use this person to get to where it was that they were going. They didn't appreciate the energy that this person put into it. And they've, they've experienced a lot of sorrow. This person's experienced a lot of sorrow, but that sorrow has made them care even deeply, more deeply for the world around them. So let's go ahead and take a look at your Oracle card. I got to check a look at this off of the camera to make sure it's appropriate for the video. And I'm going to read this out of the book for you. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is, this, this, this is okay. Yeah. So it's, I am source. Look at this energy. Like, it looks like a butterfly to me. Like, they're transforming. They're getting a ton of downloads here. This is someone who's being ruled by their solar plexus chakra. That's what's being highlighted here. This is connected with the solar plexus chakra. This is someone who takes action to be the change they wish to see. But I am source. Like, they, that's what they want. They want to be the embodiment of unconditional love in the world. And they're doing an amazing job of it. But they still have their setbacks. They still have their situations that arise. They still have their issues that, that come up. But they still find a way to make it through. Like, look at these crags, these mountain crags at the bottom of this card. Like, even when they get to the top of one peak, there's still another peak to climb. But they're okay with that. They don't mind that. It says... I emerge from the womb of the mountain. I am connection between heaven and earth. I reconnect what once was separated. I am the channel that expresses that which wants to be expressed. Old and new coexist now because life keeps moving forward organically entwined with its source. Everything changes. I am timeless and infinite while at the same time conscious of my ephemeral transit through this existence. I am the source. I am opening new doors. 
I open up to creation, resting in pure essence of what I am, perfection. I connect with my creativity. I am able to perform the most immeasurable wonders. I open the door that no man can shut. <clears throat> and the light over here just kind of like flickered. Yeah, so they definitely are aware of their connection with source, their connection with spirit, with the universe, with God. But they're also deeply aware of their manifestational powers because they've had this. They've had tons of everything and they found that that was just leaving them empty and cold. That when they went into this energy of being someone who gives, they felt more blessed than they ever could have imagined. And so that's why they want to live a simple life. It's not that they won't compromise. If you want to be someone that has a big house or whatever like that, it's not that they won't compromise with you. It's not about that. It's just this person in particular just really likes the simplistic ideas of living because they want to come back into connection with source, with mother earth, and with the idea of that we're all here having this human experience and it's time for us to love in this humane way. And that's exactly what this person embodies. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay. So if this resonates with you, if you feel like this is your reading, <clears throat> leave a little shark emoji down below and say, I connect with source so I may walk in my purpose and change the world. To let source know you're calling in this higher vibrational connection. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, though, and get on out of here. I do want to take a quick second, though, to thank your guides, your spirit messengers, your angel source, and my guides for coming together to give us this beautiful message. Leave me a thumbs up down below. But until next time, pile number three, stay human. Bye.